Yo, what's up, y'all? It's your boy Demi, who's Jack Swain here, and I am back with another video. Uh, I want to talk to you all about something that has been, you know, it's very, very important. And that is why I hate Ninja Steel. Ever since, you know, Saban has... You know what? Instead of me talking about Ninja Steel, I'm going to talk about the Neo Saban as a whole. Why I think the newest Bond era is a terrible era for Power Rangers, especially when it's being moved to Nickelodeon. Adults know about this than the kids do because they're treating kids like they're dummies, that like they don't know anything. And too many messages being brought out to the show, too many, you know, seasons that try to rehash Made in Warfare, and they can't even. Stay true to their own stuff, much like Disney did with with Ninja Storm and Down of Thunder. You know, it's. It, I mean, it doesn't make it doesn't make any sense at all. And and it started with Samurai, but why I think I hated it because looking back at it now, there were some good episodes, there were some bad episodes. And then the rest of the season just went downhill from there. Because so many bad actors, models, just models with no martial arts or any, or any sports backgrounds whatsoever. And then you have Nigga Force, which was a bland season to, from the beginning with. And I just think this whole season is a joke. It's, it's cancerous. I don't care if it's going to be 25th anniversary next year. Like... It's hard for us to say positive about Power Rangers because don't you think some Power I think some of the actors from some of the actors from the Power Rangers franchise have harsh criticism for the small franchise too. It's not just us, it's the actors themselves too. So you can't expect you can't expect us to be positive about anything. So, so getting back to, to why I think Neo Saban era stinks because of Nickelodeon. Jonathan Disaster was the horrible, horrible director because he abused the heck out of the Sentai footage, stock footage, or stock footage. Look, Japanese stock footage, whatever well, you want to call it, and. I personally think that he was a horrible choice from the beginning with. That's why Saban got rid of his stupid behind from Super Mega Force because he saw how badly he was treating the season. He didn't even represent the Rangers from the first 20 seasons, starting with Mighty Morphin. So, that wasn't right for, from the start. And you know what? Personally, I feel like, you know... The only reason why Neil Saban sinks is because of the corporate, you know, the corporate people behind Saban brands. Because what they're doing right now is just absolutely atrocious. Like, I feel like they're doing the same stuff as the WWE. Because I feel like I can go on and on about why I hate the Neil Saban. Because it's hard for us not to not to not to stop watching. Our childhood shows that we all grew up with, because all we wanted to just to see it improve, but I don't think it's ever gonna be that way if they don't stop with this nonsense of of how they're treating its fans, being a bunch of yes people, you know, being around this corporate, you know, sellouts. Like, the only thing they care about is the money and the toys and it's just themselves, first of all. They don't care what they put out because all they're doing is just shoving this down our throats and expect us to just enjoy it, but we don't. I mean, that's just like saying, you know, if, you know, if the people that work for Donald Trump always, always preaching to us how we need to, you know, accept him love him and appreciate him for what he's doing and then we don't but again what they're doing is shoving it down our throats 
And they express and they expect us to agree with what they're doing, but we don't. Because we know we're gonna accept it. I hate the fact that we live in a society that we have to learn to ex accept things without any judgment. I mean, we're not supposed to judge or anything, but when it comes to Power Rangers and the WWE, I think we have a right to do that. Hold on. You know, so getting back to what I was saying about, you know, why I think, you know, politics has, you know, I'm not playing, not talking about politics, I'm talking about why I hate the news of Bond, because you know what? Sometimes I'm always going off topic, but you guys know what I say is true. It's not me making a video about this. It's all the Power Rangers fans out there that are saying the same thing. If you ask them, they'll tell you everything they know. And I'm telling you everything I know and what my opinions are of how I think to make great again. You know? I mean, I'm no expert or anything. I'm just telling you, you know, how I personally feel. You know? But then you have Down Charge, which season one was a bit what well, was good, but not great. It had some some odd moments and some bad episodes, but at least it's still better than the second season and Ninja Steel because I personally think the two writers from Samurai Mega Force are ruining Ninja Steel and Donald Supercharged. They ruined the heck out of that season last year because when it came back on Nickelodeon, you know, in late summer, episode 9 was one of the worst because they went Barney the Dinosaur on it. And I swear, I hate that Dino Supercharged ever since then. There are some good episodes about it, but the rest of them were just awful. Like, I just hate that season so much. And I hate Ninja Steel. Because I feel like they're not trying hard enough to make the show good. Because, number one, Chip Lynn is not fully involved with the season. Because... You're letting two other writers from Samurai Mega Force come in and mess with your work. I mean, this is just the worst part about it is that you you're just making it unwatchable and unenjoyable for us to just enjoy. I mean, Will Shoot though is a terrible, terrible actor and a terrible Red Ranger alongside Troy and Jaden. But the only good Red Ranger in the Neo Saban era is Tyler. Brandon Magia did an amazing job with the character from season one. Um, um, and looking back on Mr. Winnie Productions video center, I have uh, Peter, uh, Peter, Peter, Peter Sodorso said that Ninja Steel is going to be the is going to be the best season yet. Like, it's the best season around. I can tell he was probably being paid to say that because the WWE does the same thing with their wrestlers to go on TV and say positive things about their product, but yet, but yet, somehow they're not affected by it because if it were me to be working for the WWE, if I was a wrestler and they had me going on talk shows saying positive things about it, I don't want me going on and kissing up behind. Uh uh. Like, that's something that I don't, that I do not want to do. But, what is my current feelings among, well, over the Neo Saban era? I think it's absolutely trash because it is the worst thing that, that ever happened to Power Rangers. They destroyed parts of the things that I grew up watching. When grew up watching, excuse me. Um. I think the best thing that the Power Rangers should be on is Netflix. That or just create your own network. Because Nickelodeon is such a terrible home. Or you could just put it back on. I mean... I mean, just put it on Disney XD or Nicktoons. Like, I, I can't take it anymore. The Neo Saban era is dead to me. 
Like it's just it it really doesn't make any sense of how we should accept Ninja Steel and we don't. You have these wacky Neo Saban fanboys out there that they'll tell you, oh you just hate it because it's it A few months ago I was on Facebook and I commented that Troy is the worst Red Ranger of all time. Uh some idiot girls or lady said that last time I checked this is a kiss show. It may be a kiss show but kids are not stupid. I don't know why you got this Neil Bob fans that are defending these defending this trash product and thinking that it's the best era for Power Rangers because they're not. Because number one, they too much puns, so many lackluster focus episodes, and the lack of unmoored civilian fight scenes, the lack of martial arts. Like, it's so terrible. And you know what? The Ninja Steel season is the worst. Mick is the worst mentor. Every time he talks to the Rangers, it's too many freaking morals. Like, I'm tired of it. That's why I, 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 I bother not watching the second season. I don't care if, if it's the 25th anniversary of the Power Rangers coming out next year. And I won't, I won't be watching the season. You know what I'm saying? I just think it's absolutely trash. But, you know, I'm going to try my best to be positive about the Power Rangers when it comes to the 25th anniversary coming up next year. Well, well, in two months. <sighs> I don't know, man. Like, it's, it's so hard to be positive. But sometimes you have a right to criticize your own franchise that you grew up watching and why you feel how you feel. You shouldn't be positive all the time, you know. I don't want to become the Bruce Bliss of the Power Rangers and Anthony Marsh Jr.'s PR Lost Galaxy 2014 of the Power Rangers be bashing the scenes all the time. But the way it is right now, it's going to cause us to, to just talk trash about it even more because this is a terrible era for the Power Rangers. Especially when it's on Nick Looney. The 20 episode, the 22 episode policy, the holiday specials, the hyenas, and it sucks. I mean, these actors deserve so much better than what they're giving to them while they're on the show. And personally, the way that Noah is in both seasons of Mega Force, he was a good Blue Ranger, but not that great. I really think that he should have been the Red Ranger for both seasons because he sounded like a true gangster, you know. Even though he doesn't have the martial arts abilities, but he would have been an excellent Red Ranger. And Troy would have been the Blue Ranger. Well, a good Blue Ranger. Like, I'm like, seriously. Like, like, Noah would have been a perfect Red Ranger for Super Mega Force. Then they would have done the same thing when Zeo did. Like, have... Troy and Noah switch range of colors. But I still don't like Super Mega Force. I'd rather not talk about that trash season. Every time I see the name in the logo, I just think of it just a horrible run for a season. You know? I would hope to God that if Saban will 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 not will not renew their contract with Nickelodeon. They better not. I would take it off Nickelodeon and just put it on Nicktoons. Or MTV. For some better fight scenes. Hold on. 
So, my last thoughts on, well, my final thoughts on the Neil Saban era. Have a good night.